Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Y254. It is the touchline, and I am Robert Osoro. Joining me right now is uh, Nganwa Kamuya. He is a sports lawyer and also the director of 270 Degrees uh, Marketing and Investment Agency here in Kenya, and also a member of the Football Kenya Transition Committee, Ali Amor. He's been here before and is here today, and we are going to talk about a bit of what the Transition Committee is going to hand over on the 15th when their term actually elapses but before we go to that let's talk about something that everybody loves and everybody is in everybody's mind when it comes to sports and that is the name that has been fronted to be the new cabinet secretary for sports the question will be Ngaro, if he gets into office what will be your expectation of a bubble um obviously thanks thanks for having me here it's yeah. it's been a while but yeah. it feels good to be back um the first thing, obviously, is that he's been there. Yes. Uh, and uh, I heard you mentioning in the previous segment, which is very correct, that um, the Sports Act 2013 that we currently uh, yes. are using actually was morphed in his term. Yes. Um, as, 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 as then Minister for Sports. What do I expect from him? Um, like I said uh, previously, maybe two weeks ago, um, you see, at the point of view, becoming a cabinet secretary is essentially about developing policy. And you have to have somebody who's willing to listen to the technical and the experts. Uh, he might not be an expert himself, but he might be willing to listen to what the experts are proposing with regard to the ecosystem of sports. Yes. Um, and that's what I expect of him. Mm -hmm. I don't want him going there to boss and to think that he's the one who knows everything. Yes. But I want him to go there and sit down and listen to the people who know what needs to be done yeah. in the Kenyan sporting ecosystem mm -hmm. to make it commercial, to make it a business, to make it work for each and every person who's involved in sports. And that's um, the player and, and all the other people who are employed by sporting organizations. I've said here repeatedly that if you look at the professional sporting organizations in the world, two-thirds of the workforce of that sporting organization is actually the people behind the scenes. Yes. A third is the technical, i.e. the coaches and the players. And like any business, um, the focus is always on the consumer. And the consumer in this particular instance is the fan. Yes. Everything has to be fan-centric. Mm -hmm. So from government, what we want is policies um, attracting private investment. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we keep on crying about government constructing stadiums. Mm -hmm. I have said here repeatedly, the government of England doesn't own stadiums. Yes. FA is owned, Wembley is owned by the FA. Yes. Twickenham is owned by the RFU. Yeah. So what you want is to bring in private investment, make it... For example, tax incentives for the people who are going to be constructing stadiums yeah. or putting in their money to construct stadiums. Mm -hmm. But big picture for me is two things, is promoting team ownership. Yes. We have to have private ownership in teams. Mm -hmm. And you have to make it attractive for the high net worth individual mm -hmm. to put in their money yes. to run these organizations. Mm -hmm. But big picture for me is um, I would like to see, there's a law that runs in Spain that I really love. Let, let, let's hear from uh, Ali. <laughs> yeah. Ali, from the private sector, thrown into the lion's den <laughs> of <laughs> Kenyan sports in, in a transition committee and also trying to run football for the better part of six months, I think. The question will be, what lessons from the challenges you have picked that you can actually advise the upcoming CS on what you can take over and what you cannot do? Uh, first and foremost, congratulations to Mwishimi Ababu for coming. He's been here before. Yes. Yeah, and... Uh, what he came up with, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the first CS actually to enact the Sports Act. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and it was it was a long journey for him, but he really fought for it. Yes. And I'm really happy mm -hmm. because the real custodian is back. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of yeah. the Sports That's Act. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that is a plus for him. Mm -hmm. But uh, when he was away and other CSs came in, yeah. the many changes are coming in mm -hmm. in the sports fraternity, not only football. Mm -hmm. Yes. You see, football now is I mean, sports is about commercialization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a huge industry, mm -hmm. yes. and we've never even touched a 0.05% out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is one. Second thing, policy, as uh, mm -hmm. Okilia said, mm -hmm. yes. yeah, we, 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 have, we have to be a driven policy mm -hmm. uh, sports mm -hmm. uh, country, mm -hmm. yeah. whereby some, the policy are protecting the player, mm -hmm. the fund, mm -hmm. the technical of the bench, mm -hmm. and the investors. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, because investors want to come in, but have we restructured mm -hmm. ourselves? Yeah. Yeah, so that when they come in, it's attractive, mm. they can realize their returns. Mm. That is very key. Mm. Yes. You see? And I usually, I've said it and I'll say it again without fear. Yeah. 
government is not supposed to be funding sports organization. Yes. yes. And that's where we are now talking <laughs> yes. about yeah. the sports ecosystem. Yes. That's where we are actually. In a nutshell, in a simple conversation, what does it mean when we talk about sports ecosystem? Um, it's everything that plugs into a sporting organization. So let me give you a, a, a let me give you an example just to show you how big the sports ecosystem is. Yeah. So we all know Tottenham Hotspurs used to play at the White Hart Lane. Yeah. Yes. And they constructed their very magnificent stadium called the Tottenham Stadium. Yes. Um, but before the London City Council approved for the construction of the Tottenham Stadium and from them to leave the White Hart Lane, Tottenham Football Club had to prove and show how they are going to compensate for the businesses that are going to lose their revenues at, once the, they, White at the White Hart Lane. Yes. That's the ecosystem we're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's not only the players. Yes. Like I say, in the organization in itself, mm -hmm. if there are 200 people in an organization, mm -hmm. or let's say if there are 300 people in an organization, only 100 are the technical team, yes. the players mm -hmm. and the coaches. 200 guys are behind the scenes. There's the usual departments in an organization, mm -hmm. marketing, business, um, finance, ops, and all that. Yeah. But there's something that Ali has said off air yes. that is a very big industry in sports, and that's analytics and data. Uh -huh. And yes. the people who are collecting that, mm -hmm. they need yeah. to be paid salaries. Mm -hmm. That's just the sporting, that's just the organization in itself. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the stadium. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the people who are feeding off that, the merchandise stores. Let's go to the um, um, beverage vendors, to the mm -hmm. food vendors. That's just in the stadium. Yes. And then think about all the businesses around the stadium. That's the sports ecosystem. Yeah. That's, that, that's what we are talking about. Ali, we are going on to a World Cup year. It's the World Cup month. And if we are to understand it even from the World Cup perspective, from the FIFA World Cup perspective, the ecosystem also includes that commercialization and also the marketing angle that all these people have come to enjoy from this perspective of the FIFA mm. World Cup. How can we actualize it for us locally? See, uh, if you look at what happens in other countries, first the World Cup, the name itself, World Cup, it's a brand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way to all age levels. Mm. There's World Cup. Right now you're mentioning there's a World Cup coming. Yes. Mm. See, then they start hyping it up. Mm -hmm. The main sponsor, Coca-Cola and mm -hmm. the rest, yeah. they will hype it up all over the country. Mm. Usually there's supposed to be tournaments, screens, mm -hmm. and everything. Yes. If you Bill go to wins. countries like Brazil, mm -hmm. you'll find outdoor screens. Mm. Yes. Now, outdoor screens, the World Cup is in Qatar, mm -hmm. but there's an outdoor screen in Sao Paulo, Tau, all over, mm -hmm. yes. and inside the stadiums. Mm -hmm. What does it happen? Now, again, back to Wakili. Mm -hmm. Ecosystem. Yes. People go and sell their stuff mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Sports usually moves economies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to give you two, very, two, good, uh, two good examples that we've experienced in the caretaker. Yeah. In the next season, mm -hmm. we'll have, for the first time, a Premier League club coming from Kirinyaga. Mm. Uh -huh. For yes. the first time. Okay. Yes. So if FC is going to play, they'll go to play where? And Kirinyaga. Kirinyaga. Now look at that ecosystem, that business. Yes. <laughs> for the first time, yeah. you'll have a team yeah. of KPL in Bomet. Mm. Yes. No, mm. They've never experienced that. Mm. But now, when a big team, or any team that comes, for example, Bandari travels all the way to Bomet. Bomet. Now, aspiration, mm. economy moving, mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're saying. For us to develop, mm. yes. we have to distribute sports. Yes. <laughs> Coming to facilities, we need mm. just go to our neighboring country. Mm. I think mm. Yanga is building one of the biggest stadiums in East Africa mm. today. <laughs> with their own money. Mm. And the reason is they restructured themselves. Mm. Initially, the club was about passion, yes. which is understandable because mm. food was about passion. Yes. Yeah. But they restructured themselves and said, okay, Almost fifty percent for funds. Yeah. This other fifty percent investors. investors. <laughs> <laughs> that, now that is yeah. equity holding in the yeah, club exactly. itself. Yeah. Yeah. Then investors mm -hmm. now it is segmented. Mm -hmm. Yes. Merchandise. Mm -hmm. If I start naming the value of merchandise yes. in clubs, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a you know, just merchandise themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Imagine selling a million jerseys mm -hmm. at ten dollars. Yeah. Wow. That's ten million dollars. That's yeah. ten million dollars. Mm. That's a thousand shillings, by the way. You're not yes. talking about a high end. A thousand yeah. shillings. Yeah. Mm. Just yeah. jerseys. Mm -hmm. Yes. At ten dollars. And this is a one off season mm -hmm. jersey. Mm. Yeah. That's a billion. Yeah. To put it's it in a billion for a club. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, uh, 
something that uh, for us we, people here at home have not understood it completely mm. and they will need to understand I, i'll ask the question what is the biggest challenge because when you look at uh, let's say the nba mm. uh, jordan was a big name in the 90s mm. early eight, late 80s early, early 90s, 90s yes. finished his career mm. in 2000 I think 98 2003 2003, 2003. Yeah. but uh, last year mm. in the financial year of nike mm. the air jordan sold four billion, four billion yeah. Yeah. and that was actually only to the african market, market uh -huh. to the african-american and the african market yeah. and all that for us here what is the challenge that we cannot <laughs> get into that because this is just one individual yeah making all that for this for, for system, a company. for a company. You know, the funny thing is that, actually, just to piggyback, you know, Nike was actually an SME before they sent yeah. Jordan. Yes, exactly. It's now a global yeah. company. But anyway, um, what's the problem? I believe it's because people are thriving in the chaos that's a sporting ecosystem yeah. in Kenya yeah. today. Yeah. Okay. And um, if we bring such comments and we talk about such things, yeah. we're either told two things. We are thinking too high. Yes. Oh, you guys mm -hmm. have grandiose ideas. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That's a statement. I've recently even had it as, as recent as three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me, you have big plans, you can't work here. Yes. And it's because there are people who are thriving in the chaos. Mm -hmm. and, they, and, and, and the viewers can interpret how they want to interpret thriving in the chaos. Yeah. But it's exactly what they're thinking. Mm -hmm. um, you do not want to professionalize, yes. as he's told you. That's one of the ways to go about in terms of younger. Yes. You do 50% for the club or 50 plus one for the club yeah. and then 49% for investors. Yes. That's how Bayern Munich does it. Mm -hmm. You have how the English teams do it where they open up all the 100% for investors. Yeah. You have to have private people putting in the money. Mm -hmm. This thing about community clubs, we are mm -hmm. warped in Kenya thinking about community clubs. Yes. Liverpool is the biggest community club in this world mm -hmm. and it has been privately owned from the day mm -hmm. it was started. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and for Ali, and, and another one will be human resource because for you you from the private sector who has been given a chance to work in this industry you have seen how it is is it that for us we are don't want we are the people who do not want to get the right human resource for this job you know there are two things when you talk about human resource there's competence mm -hmm. first. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 yes there's competence yes, yes. When you are hiring somebody, or when somebody is an administrator, mm. yes. what are the level of competence? competence yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's, yeah. that's the first thing you look at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does he fit in that position? Mm -hmm. Now, when you don't have competence, yeah. then continuity is yes. stagnant. Now, that's why you're saying, like, see, like Air Jordan. Yes. yes. There was competence yes. and competence. He was not the one who was running it, yes. but yeah. he hired professional <laughs> people to do it. Fantastic. Yes. 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 <laughs> see, so, one is competence. Yes. Mm -hmm. The problem we have, not mm. only in Kenya, yeah. in Africa. Yes. Mm. You see, that's continuous mm. of recycling mm. the same mm. administrators. Like yes. Garbage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's why today, yeah. uh, we don't have structures of youth teams all the way down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was talking to one of the scouts the other day and yeah. said, you know, I come to Kenya. I said, yeah, come. And he asked me one question. I'm coming to Kenya, but I want to see the under 17. Mm. Is, do you guys have a league of under 17? Mm. Yes. No, we don't have. <laughs> because if it's a scout who wants to come in, you cannot yeah. take him randomly to this mm. league. Ah, yes. He has to come to specific and see this yeah. is a league. Mm. Yes. This is a league played in this county, in this yes. county, mm. this county. Now from there, yeah. you can say, I want these players. Yes. Mm. There are some, some academies, even in Nairobi, mm. like Akakoro, which are doing yes. very well. Mm -hmm. You see, and they, they are trying to uh, uh, channel some good players. Yeah. But it's not structured. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So because of poor structure, mm -hmm. the investor does not come in and want to put a penny. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because one, the investor wants transparency. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then now we have a vacuum. We've not digitalized our sports fraternity. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's we a have big not. one. Yes. Today, if I ask you, you've been in the sports desk. Yeah. How many referees do you have in football? Zero. No idea. Ask any official. Mm -hmm. They don't yes. have. Mm -hmm. How many yeah. coaches do, do you have? have? Yes. And these coaches, what mm -hmm. are their... Qualification. Qualifications. Yeah. Yes. So these are the things that we learned mm -hmm. in the caretaker and the TC. Yes. That we discovered that because there's no proper data collection, the, yes. the fraternity is not digitalized. Mm -hmm. as fraternity. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't tell. Wakili cannot go and say, I'm looking for a, a coach. Mm -hmm. you see? Then when he goes and dial, he, unless it, he, there's okay. a reference, yes. Yes. either WhatsApp or, or a call, oh, it doesn't right. work like that. Yes, it doesn't work like that. You're supposed to have your data mm -hmm. and say, these are the number of coaches then you'll know, do we have a vacuum, do you need to fill? Then, training programs. Mm. Yes. If you look at Barcelona, 
That was your, your uncle. Yes. 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 Now you, you can log in online mm. and mm. go into a training. Mm. As you are saying, maybe we've not reached that level. Mm. Can we turn the NYS and partly as a sports training center? Yeah. If you want to be a referee, you go in. Mm. It's an, uh, an ongoing cause. Mm. Yeah. You want to be a, 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 a match com? There should be. A, it's something that, you know, education does not stop. It doesn't. <laughs> it does not stop. <laughs> yes. Because we, we, um, we've seen in Kenyan football whereby there will be a session for training referees. Then it stops. Mm. So and if. A three months session. Yeah. We don't know what will happen yeah. next. And I've pinpointed. You'll find a very good border border guy. Yes. Who can be a very good referee. Yes. Mm. So that is employment. Twice. Twice. Mm -hmm. Yes. On ma Friday, mm -hmm. Monday to Friday, yes. he'll be doing his border. Mm -hmm. Saturday, yeah. he has a whistle. Yes. Him. True. Mm -hmm. And he becomes a brand ambassador for where he comes from. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a cultural mm -hmm. engagement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also it's economical growth. Yeah. But because we, our decisions are not data driven, are not yes. informed from data. Yes. yes. That's why we always get lost. Yes. yes. Now that's one of the biggest challenges we actually need to address. And mm -hmm. I hope yeah. the, uh, uh, the, the current CS has been trying to address it and yeah. the incoming he says i'm sure he'll come and conclude it yes you, you know you know a quick fix to what we have in the federations um mm -hmm. is what i was mentioning before there's a law that is in uh, spain mm -hmm. brilliant piece of legislation yeah that basically says if you're going to be the official of a federation you have to be able to guarantee 15 percent of the federation's debt income debt, On debt. 15 percent right, of the federation's debt. debt yeah that's why um his name his name is disappearing the real madrid guy Perez. Florentino Perez. Perez. Yes, that's why Florentino Perez has been president for Madrid for all those years. Yes. Because he's a wealthy individual and he can support and he can guarantee that 15%. Yes. Now imagine if you do that in Kenya. Immediately you kick out the political people. Now in Kenya would raise it even to 40%. Yeah. You kick out these political people. That's it's business as usual here. Mm -hmm. Here it's about two things. You have the technical guys who are developing all that that you're talking about in terms of um, the structures from grassroots all the way feeding to the national team. Yes. And then you have the commercial guys who are looking for the money for each and every one of those products. Yeah. You know, under 17, under 15, mm -hmm. under, 20, yeah. under, looking for all those products. Mm -hmm. You have to separate the two. Mm -hmm. You cannot be, and that's the other problem in Kenya. Mm -hmm. You won't, because again, thriving in the chaos. In fact, let yes. me just call it as it is, because they want to mm -hmm. cut deals. Yes. You want to pursue the technical, but mm -hmm. you also want to be involved in the commercial. That's that's a big problem. Yes. And because we are hungry people and we don't can don't guarantee that debt we are talking about, that's your avenue to make money. So you're more focused yeah. on the commercial because you're there to cut deals more than you are to develop the game. Yeah. Yeah. And the the youth system as we have brought it up is actually the key major way that we can make our ecosystem work. Mm -hmm. Because if you are starting from the under five, under seven, under thirteen, under seventeen going up, all these companies also when they come for sponsorship they look at the whole structure. They will not just look at the developed professional, they'll come to the youth system. Yeah, because uh, you know you need to have a pipeline, a feeding pipeline. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see, and the youth are the feeding pipeline. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of talent. Yeah. And because the distribution is not done very well in sports entirely, not only in football, yeah. so there are some section of the country which doesn't get opportunities mm. to thrive in sports. Now that's one of the challenges. Yeah. The other challenge is when you have youth yes. and they have proper mentors, mm. you see, that idleness just get erased. Yes. So the youth become physical fit, mm -hmm. then they look into their mentorship, mm -hmm. they know this is a, my problem. Because if I'm not doing well in school, mm -hmm. yeah. eh, but I'll do well in sports. Thank you. Yes. So the option, because sports mm -hmm. is bigger than agriculture. Yes. That very true. true. It's bigger than yeah, agriculture. Yeah. yeah. If we start doing the numbers yeah. of sports here, you'll be shocked. Yeah. As Wakili has said, mm -hmm. yeah. only merchandise. We've given you selling mm -hmm. jersey yeah. for only ten thousand shillings. A thousand shillings. Yeah. yeah. One, One million. million jerseys. Yeah. Yeah. That's a billion shillings. That's a yeah. billion shillings for a club. Yes. <laughs> not even the. And it's not sure that these clubs don't have club. one million. They have fans. one million followers. <laughs> we are. We yeah. are. And and you can actually. We, we, it's very easy to do it. Yeah. yeah. Through platform, mm. yes. we don't do crowdsourcing here. Yes, yeah. You know, we don't do crowdsourcing. Whereby yeah. I can log in, mm -hmm. go and watch a match, and pay only one shilling or five shillings. Yes, yes. Now imagine yeah. if there's a match being played, mm -hmm. and fans physically go to the mm -hmm. stadium. And other fans, yeah. which is crowdsourcing, mm -hmm. they just log in. Mm -hmm. Yes. How much is that? So mm -hmm. we don't have a structure revenue stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
that actually can bring a lot of cash in. And I say that, to me, I say it. Yeah. People sometimes feel bad. They say, government is not supposed it to be funded. Not. It is not government's and, uh, work. That's, that is what actually scares away the investors when they come in and see these loopholes that, you're not, that are uh, not taken care of. That's what they, scares they, they, them away. They can, they can be... Sorry, just, just before I comment on your question, there's yeah. something I want to add on to what yeah. Ali has said. Yeah. The other thing I would want, and it's a very, very, very important point that yeah. Ali has made yeah. about sports and education. Yes. And mm -hmm. you see the problem in Kenya is that we pile drive our children that you have to be successful in education yeah. but that's not maybe your talent I, sh I believe that you should be able to leave off what your talent is yeah. and if your talent is sports then that should be the case now what do i want ababu to do if he becomes if he's if he's vetted and he goes in yeah. we have to have a system where scholarships are rewarded based on sports and not academics yes yes academics is important mm -hmm. you have to have a base minimum you know like yeah. they do it in um, the states yeah. is you have to maintain a 2.2 a second lower Yes. then you're guaranteed your scholarship for the four years. Mm -hmm. After the four years, when you're done, you have two options. You can turn pro or you right. can pursue the career that you've gotten. Yeah. But it is sports that guaranteed you to study in school. Back to the question that you've asked about... Um, sorry, um, I've lost my train of thought there. <laughs> the loopholes. The loopholes, yes. Um, it's very easy to seal these loopholes. Yeah. Um, uh, my argument has always been, I think, the government of Kenya... And I, I'm not talking about the leadership, I'm talking yeah. about Apachini. Yeah. It has one of the smartest people in this country. We just need to engage those resources. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and those loopholes can be sealed easily. Yeah. Again, we are not doing anything new. Yeah. Ali has just right, he's rightfully pointed it out. It's happening in Tanzania. Yes. You have Yanga, you have <laughs> Simba. Yes. You have, they've already been privatized. Yes. It's already happening in Africa. We are not going far. It's not hard to pull in all these issues. And I mean, in March, we talked to when us guys were hosting our conference uh, in Karen. Yes. And we were we just, for Ali's sake, we were dealing with somebody who's worked in the NBA, FIFA, all the big leagues you can talk about. And he made a comment to me that week. He said, you people have platinum, but you're not digging for it. Yeah. Like the, 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 raw, the raw material, for lack of a better word. Yes. The raw athletic talent that's in this country is ridiculous. But we are not digging for it. We are not digging for it. And, and I think those loopholes can be blocked. Like Ali is saying, life is about learning. Yeah. Let's start it first. We will learn where the loopholes will come in and we'll block them as, as we go on. And, and uh, it's, but it's not rocket science. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. It's not rocket science. Yeah. You know, if you're running, for example, a club, mm -hmm. simple basic thing. You need to have an ERP system. Yes. yes. You see, you didn't have one business uh, analytic guy, yeah. yes. you get to have a business plan, mm -hmm. yes. business reviews. Mm -hmm. yeah. The player, you know, if you go to other countries, eh, yeah. players log in. Yes. So when their pay slip is generated, mm -hmm. be told uh, for four days, mm -hmm. instead of coming four o'clock, you'll be coming five o'clock. Yeah. So your salary is deducted. Mm -hmm. Simple, mm -hmm. basic system. And there's a lot of competence yes. in this country to do that. We, Kenya, fintech, if you look at the fintech, oh, yeah. uh, oh we are far much. Yeah, far much now, yeah. we only need to take the fintech guys, we convert them sports. to sports. Yeah. Once you've done that, yeah. uh, then it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a frog leap. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that, that gap uh, will just fix it. Mm -hmm. Raw talent, mm -hmm. you just can't imagine. Yeah. We went to Malindi to yes. do a futsal uh, league. You know, we don't have a beach and futsal. Yes. Yes. A beach, we don't have it. Mm -hmm. And... In itself, it's an economy in itself. Yes. Look at Brazil. <laughs> Look at Brazil. It's an yeah. economy of itself. Yeah. So just by introducing a, 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 a beach league, yeah? yes. already you're, putting, you're bringing people together mm. along the entire Africa coast. Yes. Some countries have small coast, yeah? mm. but yeah. very big uh, uh, futsal, uh, futsal and beach, beach football. Mm. Yeah. Now, we don't look into that. Mm. There's one place that we have not gone into. There are some young boys are trying to do. Mm. <laughs> Uh, digital leagues. Yes, the e-gaming. E the e-gaming. Yes. Yes. yes, gamification. Yes. We are not even looking at it. Yeah, yeah. we are nowhere. We are nowhere. <laughs> if I give you just to comment on and this, this I know is going to excite Ali because that's yes. his background. Um, we, we have been engaged in something that we're doing with the Kenya Rugby Union, which I, I think you've seen. And yeah. basically we've got a, a Swiss-based tech company to develop their fun engagement app. Yeah. which yeah. is what we call the customer relationship management yeah. system, CRM, yeah. CRMs. And he'll tell you how important CRMs are. And let me just give you a short story just to show you how important CRMs are. Ten years ago, Real Madrid hired a team of 40 people 
from Microsoft to develop their CRM. Yes. And the CRM essentially what it does is that your funds, your funds data is there. Yeah. So the sponsor knows to who, they're marketing directly to the fund yes. through the app. Anyway, Real Madrid developed, and you see how Real Madrid is in money, or they've been in money in the last 10 years. When Spotify signed this deal with Barcelona a few months ago, yeah. the deal was actually reportedly supposed to be worth $600 million. The one with Spotify. With Spotify, yes. Yeah. But the reason why the deal was halved is because Barcelona did not have a CRM. So Spotify asking, okay, you tell me you have 350 million fans in the world. Where are they? Where are they? Me, all I have is your club membership roster, which is 3 million. Yes. Real Madrid have 500 million fans in the world. Yeah. They know that 97% of their fans live outside Spain. So 97% of their fans will never even have a chance to visit the Banabao, let go to Spain. Yes. So how do we curate our content? How do we curate our content for those guys? Yeah. That's, that's way, big, yeah. Content creation is very key. Yeah. And, and uh, if, you, if you're not creating content in your sports, then mm -hmm. you're completely lost. Oh, yeah. yes. Today we have national teams eh, who have offices and, 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 and centers in China. Mm. Look at France. Yes. Yes. Le Bleu. Yes. Yeah. They have an office in China. Yes. Why? There's a following. Mm -hmm. yes. Bayan, I think they have one in Singapore and Malaysia. Yes. Liverpool. Because yes. they have a following. Yeah. And football has changed. Mm -hmm. The physical visit in stadium yeah. has changed. Yes. People just log in mm -hmm. and they do follow-ups. Mm -hmm. And with content, you can disrupt. Mm -hmm. You send disrupt messages. You know. mm. They are lifetime fans, whereby they get birthday, birthday messages. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's personalized. Personalized personalize those messages. Yes, yes. Now, all that, we are not capturing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As we are still on the, I call them petty wrangles. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. I agree with Ali 100%. Yeah. Petty wrangles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this football, mm -hmm. only football itself, can yeah. employ everybody who is in wrangles. That's right. Yeah. So imagine having a CEO mm -hmm. for under 17, mm -hmm. managing the entire country. Yes. Because you see, you'll have maybe somebody in the county yeah. as a deputy CEO in that part of the county. Yes. Yeah. Just managing under 17 yeah. or under 13, uh, 15. Mm. Some people aspire to be uh, team managers. Mm. Yes. You tell me, have you had a course of team manager here? Yeah. No, no, no. no. Nope. It's huge. Mm -hmm. Yes. To be a team manager for a team, yes. it's huge. Mm -hmm. Now, if we have those trainings in the country, those are still revenue mm -hmm. for the Ministry of Sports. That's right. And for the government. And for the government. Yeah. yeah. There are people who want to become doctors yeah. i met i met uh, and this was, it was very shocking because okay first you rarely hear uh, female doctors wanting to get involved in sports mm -hmm. yes but she just completed her orthopedic her master's in orthopedic uh, surgery yeah. uh, or she's rather she's an orthopedic so as we were talking she told me that she did her thesis based on the athletes mm -hmm. athletes yes. in kenya and she was in shock like she was like narwa i am in shock at how our athletes are able to compete globally with what they have in this country. Now that's somebody who wants to pursue that line. Yes. But is it a career option? We are not giving her the environment to We are not pursue giving her that. the environment. She's not going to be paid. I mean, she has to be paid a salary. Yes. Where, where are we generating the revenue of it? Yeah. So, and, and there's also the issue of the career option. Um, as it is right now, as, as, as disgruntled as our system is, yeah. we are not short on talent. Oh, yes. A lot of talent has been churned out from the, from the youth. Yeah. But what happens is that, and I keep on saying this, I'm a living example. After high school, there was no point for me to continue playing sports. Yes. Because it's not a career option. Right? I'm yeah. lucky. Mm -hmm. I had parents who could afford to take me to university. Yes. But there are so many guys whose parents cannot afford to do them. Yeah. It has to be a career option. Mm -hmm. It has to be a career mm -hmm. option. The question will be, Ali, what can be our way forward? Because now we are here. It is murky as it is, but we need to move to the next level. I think you're talking about solutions. Eh? Yes. Uh, first, for solutions to be accepted, people have to be active listeners. Yes. yes. <laughs> Actively. Yeah. Yeah. Have to be active listeners yes. and yes. accept the solutions. Yes. Because this is not the first time there's a caretaker committee. Yes. Yeah. In the no, no, not here. Yeah. We, we've done a report calling it 58 Years of Confusion. Yes. Wow. The first caretaker committee. Mm -hmm was in 1964. Well, immediately after independence. <laughs> the first one. It tells yes. you now the birth of Wrangles. Yes. yes. And you look at the report, it tells you each and every year what happened. Mm -hmm. There are people that you're not even talking about, players. Yes. Both national team and club players. Mm -hmm. If you hear their stories, yeah. and sometimes I, 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 I joke with Bobby, I said, you remember in uh, Abidjan, yeah. you guys were sleeping on the floor at 
<laughs> yes. at the airport and then you're taking to someone's house mm -hmm. yes. in a place called Zonkato and, and, it, and it was a guy in the army, a Kenyan, who mm -hmm. took them and put mattresses on the ground, uh, on the floor and they, that's where they slept. Mm -hmm. But Kenyans don't know that. Yes. For us who played mm -hmm. football and we follow it, we know mm -hmm. how many issues eh, and challenges yeah. the national team players have gone through. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we don't forget they are their brand ambassadors of the country. Mm -hmm. Some people are still talking about them in different countries. Mm, yes. If you go to Egypt today and you talk about Gore, mm. they, they remember. Mm. They remember. Yeah. The Zamalek march and they remember. Mm. Mm. You see. And yeah. still our teams are followers from outside. Yes. Yes. But how do we capture them? Yes. So as I said, we need to have active listeners and people mm. who can action mm. the solutions. What are the first solution is? Mm -hmm. The first solution is the incoming CS to ensure that the sports act mm. is enacted. Mm. They should mm -hmm. not be compromised on the sports act. Yes. yes. That is the first thing. Yeah. A second thing is to listen to the first group of stakeholders, yes. which are clubs, mm -hmm. the KPL clubs, both women and men. Mm -hmm. Now those ones, they should be told now, go and reform back your Kenya Premier Limited Club. Mm -hmm. Commercialize. Mm -hmm. Fully professional. Fully commercialize. Yes. Then we put them policies in place. Mm -hmm. for, you to, for you to run a club, these are the requirements. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes you can achieve all of them at once, yeah. but then you are given a, a gradual, a roadmap. Mm. We want to see you have a physical office. Yes. What are your plan of having your own mm. ground? ground. Uh, who is your brand partner? Mm. Because we are actually, you know, brand equipment partners, yes. we don't have them. Mm. Yeah. People just buy jerseys from everywhere and say, this is my jersey. Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. Do you have a physical place where you're selling your jersey? Do you have an online merchandise shop? Mm. Things like that. Then after that, he listens to the other stakeholders who wants to take over the office and everything. Mm. Yes. Just their views and how can we... Because this wrangle, uh, as I said, this will be the last caretaker committee in this country. Mm. Mm. Yes. For 58 years, we've been having all these issues. Yeah. Now then you come to the practical part, is the operational part I'm talking about. Mm. Yes. How is football distributed? Not in terms of matches, mm. in terms... If I go to Turkana, how many referees mm. are coming from Turkana? If I'm going to Osangish, I want to see, do I have team managers in Osangish? If I look at that county, I say, yes. how many football team managers are there? Because right now, everybody's talking about the upper part. If you go lower, lower. it's more chaotic. Yes. yes. It's more chaotic. Mm -hmm. You find that a team has been playing in, let's say, Division 2, mm -hmm. or, or, or county, yes. or regional county. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the number of teams, these guys, for them to come to KPL will take seven years. So already, the player is edging mm. at the grass, at the grass. level. Yeah. Yeah. And that is talent mixed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other thing yeah. is who, who are the people running this football? Yes. What KPIs are they in place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you can't, football is business. Mm -hmm. If they're not KPIs, eh, yeah. then we are lost. Yeah. <laughs> there has yes. to be KPIs. Mm -hmm. Yes. There has to be reviews. Mm -hmm. And one of the recommendations is saying, quarterly reviews yes, by yes. federations. Yes. You come and present mm -hmm. to the CS. Yes. We are here, we are here, this is how much you've received, this is how much you spent, mm -hmm. this is our roadmap. Mm -hmm. There has to be reviews. Mm -hmm. And once you have business reviews mm -hmm. with the CS or the accounting officer, mm -hmm. will not have this situation, surprises. Yes. Yes. So if federa all federations are doing their business reviews, they know that quarterly business reviews yeah. With the sports ministry, yes. yes. Then you'll see a difference. Yes. Yeah. So unless we turn this into a business, mm -hmm. yes, uh, with proper business plans, proper roadmap, mm -hmm. we're going to be very successful. Well, and as yeah. I said, the the, the employment mm -hmm. opportunities in sports, yeah. it's huge. It's huge. Mm -hmm. It reaches a time where people are fighting to get into sports. To get into sports, yeah. like what is happening in Europe today. Yes. Yes. And even in some other countries. Yes. If you go to Morocco now, if you look at their commercial activities, mm -hmm. they're in partnership with the, with the telco guy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, it, was it Morocco or Algeria? I saw the other day on the news where they have complained about their jersey design mm -hmm. and they want Adidas mm -hmm. to change the design of their jersey. And I was like, hey, where will you, when will we get to a chance where Adidas can consider Kenya? Let me tell you. They, 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 they as he said, yeah. We're not short on funds. Yes. Um, we're not short on passion. Mm -hmm. 
um, we are not short on purchasing power. Yeah. What we are short on is governance and the structures within the sporting federations. Mm -hmm. And if you clean that up, because um, I've had conversations with those organizations, yes. Pumas, Adidas, Nike, mm -hmm. and they're not averse to coming into Kenya and sponsoring some of these teams. Yeah. They don't dispute the fact that the brand is big and you can actually push volumes. That a million is talking about. Yes. We have 50 million guys. We have 4 million in Nairobi. I mean, that a million jerseys a year, and a guy can buy like four, five, six guys in his family. If you're talking about a thousand bob, the ten dollars is talking about. So we're not short on that. The issue is just the governance structures. It's just how it's too messy. I, I'll give you a story about um, so like private participation in terms of in stadium investment. Yes. And um, talking to some guys of the U.S., I told you just before the show that the way they're calling it in Europe, they're calling it the scramble and petition for Africa. They, are, they, they see where the loopholes are. Yes. They are already planning to come in. NBA is already here. NFL is already here. Yes. We haven't noticed it. We are sitting on our backsides. We don't know what's happening. Anyway, so as we are talking to them and um, dealing with some partners that we have, um, you'll be shocked to find out that Kenya was actually considered first for the Basketball Africa League, yeah. the NBA Basketball yeah. Africa League. Mm -hmm. But because of the chaos that's here and the lack of goodwill from the government, um, they went to Rwanda. And you see the buzz that's being generated in Rwanda of the Basketball Africa League. Yes. Um, so, we, um, there's that saying, Pesa Ipendi Kelele. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as in, yeah. <laughs> the minute, the minute yeah. investors start yeah. hearing noise yes. or look, uh -huh. they, they don't want to touch you. Yes. And that's what we need. We need to be less political. Yes. Uh, we need to be business driven. Mm -hmm. uh, business has to be the main thing. And for me, the two, the two stakeholders that have to be focused on by each and every sporting federation in Kenya. I used to think, I'll, and, and it's no, by the way, it's no disrespect to our players. I used to think that the player was the most important part of the game, but it's actually the fun. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Todd Boley did say that. He yeah. said that um, he, he was being asked what keeps him involved in, now just after he bought Chelsea, he was being asked what keeps him involved in team ownership. And he said, Whenever I want to get carried away, I remember at the end of the day, the fun is the most important part. Like every other business, the consumer is the most important part. Mm -hmm. Ali just talked about Bayern Munich having um, offices in Singapore mm -hmm. and all those places. Yeah. They are there because they have fans and they have followers. Mm -hmm. So we have to be customer centric. And that means we have to be fan centric. Yeah. And that means small things like even our stadiums have mm -hmm. to be fan centric. Yeah. Number one. Number two, we have to be player centric. Those are the two main people we have to focus on. Yeah. And our administrators and the CS, incoming CS, has to have, as he's saying, I, I agree 100% with the reviews. Yeah. These reviews need to be happening quarterly, mm -hmm. where he blanks out a whole week to review all the federations, yeah. and they come in and they present their KPIs. Mm -hmm. But as they are presenting their KPIs, these two places have to be the focus. Man. The quote goes, I think it was from J.F. Kennedy, who said, uh, don't ask what the country will do, do for you, you but yes. what will you do, do for, for country. your <laughs> country? And I put it to you, Ali. For us, our conversation mostly, everybody's what the CS can do, what, and what also these sports people, what can they do for goodwill also to the government so that it can be a very good playing field? You know, there's a... Uh a lot of experience, yeah. Uh, also competence, mm -hmm. yeah. But conversions, mm. yes. <laughs> your experience. How do you convert your experience mm. eh? uh, or that opportunity into development? Mm. Yes. Because at the end, of, uh, and at the end of the day, you can see the end game. The end game is the results. Yes. How do we measure our results? So the problem here is, there we don't have measurable policy. Mm. Yes. We don't have them. Here is. More of partisanism. Uh, Wakil is my buddy. Yes. Uh -huh. So even if he's wrong, or Ali is wrong, uh, no, you're Tafinika. Mm. Yes. Once we get out from that, mm. then there's transparency, integrity, and values, mm -hmm. then you'll see our sports growing. Mm -hmm. Look at our athletics. Yeah. They perform. Mm. Yes. They perform. Mm. And because it's individual, yeah. Yeah. I want to be, I want to win this marathon, yes. I'll win this marathon. Yeah. And it, it has been through out. Yeah. From a long time. Yes. And even uh, the rugby team, do you know we had a very good hockey team in this country? Yes. <laughs> One of the yes. best hockey teams. Yes. yes. Eh? And maybe some generation don't remember, but mm. as we remember, yeah. we had a very good uh, basketball team. Yeah. Yes. 
from schools. Mm. If you see, mm. if school competition in basketball yeah. was chaotic, it yes. was stiff competition. Yes. Huh. You find a school like Kadindalotunga in Mosocho yes. coming to win titles in Nairobi. In Nairobi. Yes. Yeah. That's right. In that basketball. was basketball. In basketball. Yeah. yeah. So in schools, we need to have structures. Yes. And enjoy those structures with the federations. Yes. Uh -huh. That sports and education. Yeah, special uh, sports right. and education. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to be a referee, then go for a cause. Yeah. Yes. And be a referee. Mm -hmm. So that you are a certified mm -hmm. referee. Yeah. I will, if I, I, the first thing, I'll, I mean, the second thing I'll advise the CS yeah. is to ensure that the certificates <laughs> are issued from the Minister of Sports yeah. for recognition. This is a, you are a certified coach. Yes. You went to schools, we know you. Mm -hmm. Now, those are the things that we need to put in place. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another thing is, mm -hmm. you want technocrats mm -hmm. yes. to be running sports, to yeah. commercialization. Mm -hmm. If we don't commercialize, yeah. we'll be left behind. Mm -hmm. We have to commercialize. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the sponsors are ready. They're ready, baby. Mm -hmm. The sponsors are ready to come in. Mm -hmm. But the sponsor wants to come in and say, okay, how transparent is this federation? Yeah. Yes. Because if a sponsor is coming to invest, yeah. I need to see the returns. The returns is maybe brand awareness, conversions. conversions. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I told the KPL guys, yes. form your KPL Limited. Yes. But in that body, don't say the clubs are the shareholders. Yeah. Yes, they are shareholders. Yeah. But right. have shareholders, eh? mm -hmm. have one shareholder, let's say the KCB guy sits yes. in as a shareholder, yes. the media sits yes. in as a shareholder, yeah. the telco, yeah. the FMCG company, yeah. all of them are investing. Mm -hmm. So when they're actually advertising, everybody gets, gets an opportunity. Gets yes. And they put, they put the money in, so they start developing. Yeah. Yeah. That's why on a, on, 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 on a T-shirt sponsor, mm. you can have your brand here, mm. yeah. but you know your brand is protected because you're a shareholder of that company. Yes. yes. So unless they go that direction, mm -hmm. then you see a lot of money coming in. Then, if the players, I said, the players is the most important, the second point of the fund, mm -hmm. these players, are they insured? Yes. yes. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. So insurance company can say, you know, do you know how many players we have registered? I was seeing 457,000 mm -hmm. on, on the FKF League mm -hmm. yeah. that are registered. Mm -hmm. So imagine insuring 457,000 yes, players. Yeah. I even insurance companies will open up yeah, for them. So the player should be insured. And it's not, it's not difficult. Mm. Yeah. And if it's for NHIF, the money goes straight. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this player and NSF, this player is, does not suffer. You've seen the other day on TV, yes. the young boy who suffered. Yes. We feel yeah. bad because he's actually asking money for drugs. The, mm -hmm. the guy from Motonira? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Money for drugs, nothing else. Just want to buy some drugs. <laughs> When he was playing, everybody was cheering. Yes. Yeah. Now, we don't want to leave our player to go that direction. We want to see him still being okay. That's why I say, a player, you know, if you have a player's union today, it will be the biggest more than the teacher's union. You know yes. something to that <laughs> player's union? Let me yeah. just uh, tell you. And, and, and uh, I always say the mecca of commercialization of sports is America. Yes. And every, everything, even football in England, piggybacked off what America have done. Yes. Now, um, in America, they have three stakeholders. You have the league, mm -hmm. you have the owners, mm -hmm. and you have the players' association. Yes. Now, um, let me just tell you. So, like, the, they call the NFL is more geared towards an owner's league. Mm -hmm. So, the owners get most of the benefits. Yeah. The uh, baseball, the MLB, is a player's league. Mm -hmm. So, their players' union is very strong. Very powerful. They have some of the best contracts. Yeah. Then, the NBA is a 50-50. Yeah. I may, perhaps it's the best thing to copy from. But they have a collective, a very lengthy collective bargaining agreement that, for example, says uh -huh. for an NBA player, the least you can be paid is $7 million. We're not number 12. Cup. Yes, there's yeah. a list. list. Yeah, in number 12 on their roster. Yes. 12, $7 million. Insurance, play insurance, yeah. benefits. They contribute towards a kitty that takes care of them afterwards. Um, they, they, the league has to devise... Um, programs for um, after playing, your days after playing. Yes. Like what, so you decide Ali, Ali is very good in digital, so we plug him into the digital space and he grows there. And that's how these people label, that's the sports ecosystem we're talking about. Yes. We see the number of football players in England who've gone to become pundits. You Actually, see? most of them, yes. that's where they go. That's where they go. They either go to two, say, two yeah. three, three places. You get over and done with the game and you don't want to deal with it again. Yes. You get into management mm -hmm. or you, get, you become a pundit. That's the ecosystem we're talking about. Yeah. So all these things can be done. 
Um, like you said, the player union is very important, but I also believe that the player union has never been operationalized because uh, strikes, the strikes will become, strikes which is okay for me. I have no problem. <laughs> You know, they mm. set up a player union, not mm. a, like a union per se. Mm. You know, uh, and this is, uh, we, we've, we're meeting with the legions and uh, the fifth pro guys and yes, everything. Yes. What I advise them is say, have tiers. Yes. From 1970 yeah. to 1980 is tier one. Mm. Uh -huh. These yes. are retired players mm. and everything. What can they do? Yeah. They are old, yeah. but some of them have gone back to the village. Mm. These ones, we say, they could be match comms. Yes. They could be brand ambassadors mm. for school games. Yes. So they have an activity. Yes. So then you go to tier two. Mm. So tier one, this is what they do, tier two, tier three, up to the present tiers. Yes. And the present tiers are the active players. The active yeah. players yeah. You see? And you put policy. <laughs> You're not active so that, <coughs> excuse me, yeah. so that you go on strike. No, we don't want strikes yeah. in sports. Yeah. Yeah. We just want you as a player to be protected. Yes. yes. So if something is happening to a player, mm. eh? uh, Wakili, mm. being a sports uh, uh, counselor, you mm. say, hey, Something is wrong. Here. Yeah. yeah. Uniform contracts. Yes. <laughs> yes. For players. Yeah. Uniform contracts. Okay, I know wages could be different, mm -hmm. but, but the everything, else else everything else is, is minimum done. basic. Yes. yes. That insurance, <laughs> pay uh, salary, and everything. Yeah. Is in place. <laughs> players do get bonuses. Mm. Yes. We've seen contracts whereby uh, a sponsor comes in and tells the the federation or the club, mm -hmm. during halftime, I want him to talk about our brand. Yeah. Yes. Those are images. Yes. Yeah. Images, right? Yeah. You, because that player has a contract with the club. Yes. Not with the. Not with the, Thank you. So yes. when you uh, 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 want a player to talk about a particular brand, mm -hmm. then you, as a brand, should yeah. talk yes. to the player's lawyer yes. and say, "Can he feature in this?" Exactly. Mm -hmm. And how are we going to square the image? Of this it? conversation <laughs> will never <laughs> be over. But <laughs> your last word, word Dengaro. Um. Sporting federations need to realize that there is no difference between them and billboards. Yes. We need to stop waiting for the CSR money from these corporate organizations and start into eating into their marketing dollars. Yeah. Um, there shouldn't be a difference between a sporting federation or a sporting or a club and a, a, a TVC, a, com a commercial or an advert mm -hmm. or a billboard. But we need to repair our image we need to make it fan-centric. We need to get the numbers in. And I will quote, I forget his name, but there's an exec, a marketing executive at, at APSA, Kenya. Yeah. And he said that corporate organizations are entitled to sponsor sports <laughs> in the right governance structure. Well, <laughs> I'll leave for you your last word. <laughs> for me, my, my, my last is... Uh, yeah. And, and to the uh, incoming CS, God willing, he takes over the office. Yes. Football is a country unification mm -hmm. factor. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I know he's going to crack it. Mm -hmm. He has a legal mind, mm -hmm. experience. Yeah. He's exposed. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a unification factor. Mm -hmm. Let's bring back the football we had before. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where we used to feel in the stadiums and everything. But this time around, commercialize it, mm -hmm. yes. run it as a business. Yes. Anything without a business plan from any federation, yes. don't even listen to them. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. Yeah. Want a proper business plan, mm -hmm. governance, policy, and look into their constitutions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it a friendly constitution mm -hmm. or is it an individual driven constitution? Mm -hmm. Then involve the governors mm -hmm. countrywide. Yes. And you see and here actually the results will the economy will just change by itself naturally mm, yes. without any any rocket science kind of approach mm. so that's what we want to see yes. commercialization and digitalization yes. of sports without actually sorry just to yeah. piggyback just just a statement yeah. in the world right now they say there is no sponsor who's going to touch you without a digital growth strategy yeah. So that's just what I don't want Ali has it. Well, <laughs> that's why we come to the end of the touchline. Thanks a lot, Ngaro Kamunya is the director, 270 Degrees Marketing Agency, and also Ali Amor, who, has been, who is actually a member of the Football Kenya Transition Committee. I'm Robert Osoro with my colleague, Max Oluasike. For everyone who has made this production a success, we say good afternoon and enjoy the rest of your viewing here on Y254.